Listen, I'm going to say this loud and clear. A narcissist will never, ever, ever change. They change their clothes. They change their personalities. They change their victims. But them changing themselves, they don't change. They just put on something to cover themselves up to make it seem like they change. I'm dealing with this shit right now today. Right now with my baby father. He will come in and out of my life. And then you you come and you tell me, oh, I've changed. I'm not that same person no more. But I continue to see it. When things don't go your way, you act out. True narcissist. And then you try to reflect that energy on me. But you can't. You cannot. And that's what's going to make a narcissist hate you. They're going to hate to love you. They love you because you have this energy that they want. And that they, they come and they suck it out of you. But they hate the fact that you know who they are. You can see right through them. And I can see right through his ass, y'all. And it's crazy because he... Let me tell you what happened. He let me borrow some money so that I can move into this place. I was short, what, like $300? Boom, okay. I asked him, go ahead and send me $300 because I'm short or whatever, I'll pay you back. Okay. So, today is the day... Oh, shit. So, today is the day that I'm supposed to pay him back, right? So, mind you, he texted me yesterday. He's been texting me, asking me my address or asking, can he come over? I just been ignoring him. So, last night... He asked me again. I have fell asleep or whatever. And he asked me again, you know, can I come over? Can I lay with you? I was asleep. So I called him back and I'm like, what's up? Because he sent a text and he was like, oh, you could at least pick up the phone so we can talk. So I called him. I'm like, what's up? And I was like, I was just going to sleep. And he's like, oh, you see you with the bullshit. And I'm like, wait, whatever. So brush that shit off. And then he called me back last night, but I was asleep. I fell back to sleep. So I text him this morning. I'm like, did you call me? And he like, yeah, but never mind. I'm like, okay. And then he was like, yeah, you could just send me my money back and tell the kids I love them or I love y'all, some shit like that. And I'm like, what's, what does that mean? Like, what's up? He like, nothing. It means nothing. I'm like, yes, it does. It means a lot because who wakes up and like tell a motherfucker, oh, make sure you send me my money back when you know today you going to get your money. But you woke up on that type of energy? Oh, because I didn't give you my address so that you could come over. Like, let's be honest. When a narcissist don't get their way, they make it seem like you're the bad person. It's your fault. You did all of this. You don't care about them. You, you're, you're a selfish person. So I politely send him a message and basically let him know once I send you your money, that's it. That's it. That's all. Because if you, I would have gave you my address if you said that you was coming to see your kids. You never even mentioned that. You talking about laying up and doing all this, baby. So he like, well, if you don't want me, then that's, tell my kids I love them. I said, no. You got their number. You be a father. I shouldn't have to tell you how to do it, when to do it. None of that. So, boom, he sent me a message back talking about, I'm going to say this respectfully. Don't be wicked. Be fruitful. Don't be wicked because that comes back on you. A true narcissist. They reflect that shit on you and make it seem like you're the bad person. Like I'm not being fruitful. Like I'm not being nice. Like I'm not being considerate of his feelings. Of it. That's what they do, baby. I dealt with that shit for 12 motherfucking years. You don't think I know you? You don't think I know you. You can put on all type of clothing, baby. I know you. <laughs> so, he making it seem like I'm just this bad person. I did nothing to you. Just because I didn't give you my address, I'm a bad person. I'm not being fruitful. Make that shit make sense. Like, the whole time we've been talking, this ain't about no motherfucking kids. At all. This is about your own place. And then let me tell y'all one thing about the narcissist. And I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to fuck who feelings I hurt. They don't like them kids. They don't. They want to be with you. 
And then if the kids come with, then cool, fine. But them just being a father or a mother to their children, just solely to their kids, no. Not unless they forced to. Not unless they have to, but they wouldn't do it. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. You think they give a damn? Our narcissists only care about themselves at the end of the day. So what makes you think they're going to give a damn about some kids? I don't think I know this. I've been pushing it because I want this for my children. But I know in the back of my head that it, it may be impossible. Like, without me in the picture, without me, like, around, like, even when he tried to do stuff with the kids, he want me to come. Why you can't do it? Why you can't just be with your kids? It's impossible for them to love someone other than themselves. They will make it seem like they love you, but they ain't doing nothing but draining you. Their energy. What can you do for them to make them better? They don't care about other people. They will make it seem like they care about other people. They don't. They want everybody else to look at them like, oh my God, he cares. Oh, look at what he's doing. They want an audience. They want somebody in the background cheering for them. Go. Yes. Look at him. He's doing it. He's the father of the year. But he, deep down, he don't give a fuck. He only loves himself. I'm done because a narcissistic person will have you blaming yourself. So not only am I like, damn, like, am I the reason? Because every time we get on the phone, he be like, this is what you wanted. Oh, so it's my fault as to why you not around. No, baby, just because I don't want a relationship does not mean you don't have to be around your kids. Like, what? I'm going to say this again. Narcissistic motherfuckers do not change, y'all. And it's like, I got to just stop allowing this shit to happen because at this point, it's on me. I'm doing this. I'm allowing this shit in my life. I know I'm good with me and my kids. I know I've been doing this shit for the longest by myself. So why am I even allowing this man to do this? I turned out good and I don't have a father. I don't even know who the fuck my father is. My mama don't even know who my father is. I feel like I turned out great. I have a good relationship with my kids. My kids are healthy. They got a roof over their head, food on the table, all of that. But it's like sometimes I do you know, feel overwhelmed and feel like I don't got nobody. Like, where's your father? I didn't sit here and have kids on my own. If I would have known this shit, I'm just being honest. If I would have known this shit before it even jumped off like this, I would have never had my kids. But I didn't know. And I'm grateful that I do have my kids because, to be honest, they the reason why I get up every single morning. A narcissist loves to disrupt your peace. When they see you doing great, when they see you in good spirit, oh, here they come. They right there knocking on your door. I'm here because you, you too damn peaceful. I'm here to suck all of that from you to make myself feel good. That's what a narcissistic motherfucker do. Don't allow that motherfucker to listen. Do not allow a narcissistic motherfucker to disrupt your peace. I'm telling you, I be so peaceful with me and my kids and hear this motherfucker go when I act like he want to be a father. And then there I go, feel stressed and motherfucking depressed. Because he makes me feel like I'm not doing the right thing when I know I am. So we got to stop. My message to you and myself is to stop. Let that shit go. It's not going to go nowhere. It's just going to cause you more hurt, you more pain, you more emotional distress. You thinking that you doing some shit wrong when you not, when you doing everything right. Don't allow that motherfucker in your life. At this point, I am done. You have your kid's number. You can call them when you want to talk to them and then it's a part of me don't even want that because I don't want that shit to like bounce. I don't know. That shit contagious. That narcissistic shit is contagious. Like I don't want you disrupting my motherfucking kids piece neither. But I keep rooting for him to be a father. Is it even possible? 
I don't think it's possible for a narcissistic person to be a parent, a father, a mother, a grandmother, a auntie, anything. Like y'all, I am so done. I am so done. I'm about to send this motherfucker his money and I am done because how you even ask for your money back? Which I did say I'm going to pay him back. Because when we talked about the money the first time, he was saying, oh, let me know when you're going to pay me back. So I'm a, I said I was going to pay him back. But you haven't gave me not one dime for these kids. Nothing. Not a, not a damn thing. I got four of yours. Not a dime. You sent $20 for food one time. Okay, cool. You took us out to eat one time. Okay, cool. But then at that point, you thought we was trying to have a relationship, which I was confused. But that's where narcissists come in at, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. When do they change? When they old and wrinkled and have no energy? Like, I'm not going to let you manipulate my mind and make me think that I'm doing something wrong. Like, I'm not being a good mother. Like, I'm not being fruitful. No. You get on the phone and make it seem like, oh, you should. No, I shouldn't do nothing. That go that controlling, narcissistic ways. And then when shit don't go your way, you bounce. You get an attitude. You get mad. And then bring your ass back around here because you need some more of my good energy. Because you see me peaceful. And you want to drain that shit out of me because... A narcissistic person do not like to see a peaceful motherfucker be peaceful. And that's that. That's it. That's all. 